So here's the atmosphere control out of my Mercedes-Benz ML320. It's a 2003. Um, I noticed that none of the actuators were really working to switch the air from blowing to your feet to uh, the front vents or whatever. And also the temperature wasn't working. I figured all the actuators couldn't be blown, so I thought that the uh, issue has to be in here. So when I removed the back cover, I did a quick scan over the circuit board, and I found that over here, you can see that there's a broken uh, circuit path. It was all black and charred like it had uh, burnt up. I scraped the black away, and I found that's where the break was. I'm going to now take my soldering iron and a little bit of solder and solder that back together. So because it was so dirty I could not solder just the two copper parts together so I built a jumper wire just to jump over the brake and uh, we'll go see if that works. This is the auxiliary coolant pump. This has to be unplugged before you hook up your atmosphere control again. This is what causes the circuit board to blow. The uh, connector is on the bottom. This is the connector that plugs into the coolant auxiliary pump. Um, as you can see it's all burned and corroded. The connector actually was shorted out and I had to cut mine off. You should check yours with a meter and see if yours needs to be cut off too. So finally we plug back in our auxiliary control and uh, atmosphere control and now you will see you'll have control over where the vents blow. Um, you also have your heat and coolant back and uh, yeah this if if you're having trouble where nothing's working in your vehicle but your fan blow speed then this is most likely the cause. Um, so yeah, you take the back cover off, you fix where that circuit's been burnt apart, and you unplug your coolant circuit pump. It's auxiliary circuit pump. It basically pumps extra coolant into the cab. Now, you can go buy a new coolant pump and uh, repair that connector if your connector's melted too. Um, that's what I would recommend, but I do still have AC and, and heat without it, so that's all entirely up to you. But that's a quick fix to save you a lot of money, and I hope it helps you out.